hello everyone in this video we will be understanding how to download the uh, mysql on mac macbook air or m1 chip so first of all we need to type i mysql okay you can go to the official website and click on this uh, website okay once you reach there you can uh, look for the products okay or the downloads you want to try your uh, when you reached out to the downloads okay you can go ahead and look for the try free okay it will take you to land you through this page or if you want to don't don't want to do all these steps right so what you can do is just click on uh, all these mysql installer 8.0.32 this is something which is very latest one or you can click on the download also the alternate option that you have okay once you have this just click on download and go ahead and click that uh, you will be getting a pop-up pop and just click that download anyways okay or just download my uh, extension just download my software so once you download it okay you just need to double click as usual as a normal pr procedure once you double click on that uh, you know downloaded uh, uh, software or any any extension that you have so from the mysql it will be starting the uh, it will be uh, reflecting some pop-up right where you will be having all these download in the application folder once you click on the application folder you need to double click okay and then it will be prompting you to ask the uh, it will be prompting you to put some password you need to fill the password there once you fill the password please remember that password and you know kind of a agree accept 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 once it is done i mean downloading etc is done just close it will be coming to the final uh, summary part just close that okay once you close then once you close that now coming to the next part all you now have to do is you have to locate it in your terminal right you need to locate it in your terminal but once you know you have downloaded or the installed it you need to check that also that whether it is installed or not so you need to click on the logo go to the system preference or settings so something at the last okay you'll be seeing something like this if you can see our uh, server is activated okay it is online right now and it is uh, uh, mysql the server name okay which is already there so it is in active state let's just minimize for now and then you know start uh, uh, opening the terminal which is command and spacebar then you type the terminal there once you type the terminal try to see the uh, uh, the data that you have right now okay ls underscore a this will give you all the data set okay so now here in this you need to look for the bash profile okay as i already have created it bash profile so you will be seeing like this in case if you don't if you have not created the bash file in that case what you need to do is you need to click on the touch underscore uh, touch give some space dot bash okay bash underscore underscore profile okay then you need to click on uh, uh, i mean you need to uh, uh, enter once you do this you do the ls and try to see underscore al okay or or just do the uh, i would say ls okay this is also or ls underscore a this will give you the same thing that you have seen so here we can see we now have this okay so now we need to open it right we need to open the terminal uh, for this bash so what you gonna do is just to uh, you know save the path okay just to save the path for that reason what we gonna do now is we're gonna do just give me a sec maybe we can check here also because this step i was not little clear so we'll check exactly we'll be doing it okay or just simply go to the history yeah this was the uh, i think this was the one that i was referring and, uh, to under oltp so just pick that link no this was this was the one i guess 
Learning this course and understanding the concepts of data science and business analytics helped me. Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. MySQL server is root. So we will finish this now. Okay. Is it terminal and this is an open device profile. Yeah, this is what you need to do. Okay, you need to open terminal. Okay, this was the point I was missing. So what you need to do now? To do open. Okay, we already created it. We we want to open now. So open for the terminal. It is underscore t. Then again dot bash. Okay, what we are opening? We are opening bash profile. Okay, so it will be coming like this. Now this is the path, right? The path that we have. This one is the path. Basically, basically this is the path of your SQL का, ठीक है? So how you gonna get this path, right? So again, command and space, okay. Type user, USR basically, okay. Once you type the USR or or just type the slash USR, so it will give you the folder. Just click on the folder, go to the local, okay. Go to the MySQL, and here you can see go to the bin. All right. You can click on bin also and get the uh, path from there. and you can just click on bin and you know uh, control and the click control option will give you copy bin as path name right so just get it okay once you click it you get it close this just re verify if you have copied the right thing or not okay so see user local 523.mac4 in bin It is the same location that I already pasted. So now what you need to do is you need to save it. So command and S works for the save. Once you saved it, just cancel it. Okay, cancel everything. We wanted to see whether what we did is now going to work or not. Okay, now what you need to do is do is this is this was already opened our terminal right. So you need to completely close it so that you make it, it sure that yeah it is completely good. So now again command space bar now open the terminal enter okay now we will be verifying my SQL my SQL so it is not understanding what exactly my SQL what you need to do is now the same path that we already had right so I have saved it here so I am going to export it okay this is the easiest way of doing it just export it. the path that we created right if you remember we created the path using open t uh, slash t so open terminal uh, under uh, then again space dot bash profile so there was something that we created so we posted this path here which means we are exporting this path okay we exported it now we will try to see if my sql will it, it is able to read my sql or not Access denied. However, it is able to read, but access denial is there. Okay, for that we need to say that uh, set the directory to the root. Okay, and how we gonna do it? How exactly we gonna do it? We gonna do it using my SQL. All right. All right. Update root directory. Then p. Okay, basically password. Entering the password. It is. It will ask now. to enter the password that you already have uh, uh, you know given earlier if you remember while you downloaded the my sql during that time you generated some password okay that password you have to put here okay i enter my password now welcome to sql monitor so now it has entered me to the sql so now i wanted to see if there is any databases which are already present or not okay using show databases yeah so i can see there are the databases which are available there okay using the uh, uh, this show databases i want to do see the list uh, of all that are available uh, this is a bash command actually this will not work so i wanted to create a database list let's say okay so i will type create database then put the database name Uh, let's say video knowledge okay let's say whatever 
so okay it is now i think created so now to check all again we need to do the show databases okay you can see at the end the database has been created okay that's all this is how it works so now finally you are uh, you can you know further use it for your or uh, your purpose how you want to this is a, finally it is installed in system this is the confirmation that is it, it is giving we going to exit it this is exited okay all right thank you very much guys this this was it